Welcome back everyone to Old World Blue, the A to Z series which we're playing as Lanius' cohort. One of my actually really favorite nations, it's a lot of fun. But we got no strings on me, I can do whatever I want. And we have a dog for a king, we have found a faithful companion, who we shall call Rex. For is this dog not a king of his breed? He is a good boy, a very very good boy. Yes he is. Also this one, so if anyone asks, he sleeps with me for, for protection, we get an animal friend. More Warhound platoon attack speed and defense, or more dog support company attack and defense. 20%. It's not bad. The stats on the dogs aren't super, but it's not bad. Cavalry attack and defense, super unit, infantry units defense, adds a logistic skill to Lanius, and a cyber dog. Or perhaps we will lower Kaiser's stress. No. No strings on us. What about lessons from a sister? The Maxon chapter showed more courage than we would have expected, and must make Lanius pause. So many of the prolificates who opposed them were led by women. And they fought for no worse than the male warriors, perhaps Great Kaiser is mistaken. Closing the chapter. With the destruction of the Maxon chapters, it's time to see if they have any worth. Strip the bunker. There'll be no memory left of this prolific cultist existence when I am done. And fabled tactics. Triorii, huddled around the cages of the enslaved brotherhood, scribes as they're told stories of their glorious past tales. Of <clears throat> Fighting monsters made of blades, screaming iron and speaking numbers, stories of the leader, an eight-headed hydra dwelling in the mountain, calculating the fall of man so as Ken may inherit the world's ashes, stories of war, stories of blood. Stories, stories, stories. Oh god. We already maxed out on that. That's not good. I guess we technically don't need that too much. We're doing extraordinarily well on resources. Uh, manpower, we have over 40,000, almost 44,000 manpower. We're good on money for the most part, too. Uh, so really, we're not doing too badly. We need some more anti-tank. We have no strings on us. And we're now called the Eastern Legion. Fantastic. This may piss off Kaiser off, but look to the east. Take the first step to form a rival legion to scare the east as Kaiser does the west. Kaiser is well and good, but I've learned anything. As if the east is the land of wealth and power. Let him spend his time battering against the old world wall. I will march to the sea. We'll form a rival legion. Cool. Ah, good. I do want a crown. Under our governance, the Eastern Legion has, of course, prospered. We've built up towns, roads, communities, and dreams. Our one of our advisors has noticed today while walking through Castro Sol Rubrum. It has become a beacon in the wasteland, but still it isn't perfect. <clears throat> Though flaw, the imperfections give character to this jewel on our nation's crown. Spectacular indeed. Could we hold off against Kaidar? Who? I'm glad I looked at this. It's only level six too. We could we need to pump that up. Level three, uh, twin mothers is level what? We are making our own destiny, my friends. Level nine, that's pretty good. And Duck City itself is what? Four. Interesting. So we're trying to still build this group up here. Um, we can invest stimulus, I guess. No, oh, actually, you spend two hundred, you actually get a tiny bit of money back. It's not much, but it's something. Trade node, we need anti-tank and, oh, we need guns. And by guns, I, of course, mean, uh, more melee weaponry. We're trying to restore Fort Carson. Probably not going to adapt rating to survive. Um, that stuff is all nice. Science stuff doesn't really do very much for us. We can optimize our trading, perhaps. Oh, oh, we got intermediate support tech. Oh, and image, oh, look at all that. Fantastic. Um, what I would really like is, uh, ooh, more cores, of course. Another research slot. Ooh, we get two more research slots. 50% core reduction cost. Eastern Citadel. Castro Sol Rubrum. It's far too close to Kaiser to be uh, the seat of my throne. Why not take one of the hangdogs as a woman, as a woman and rule from their old seat? One, two, three. Nine more places to become our core states. I like that. Force coring? Well, let's wait for that one. And I never use that one. Expand army training? Go ahead. Good. Uh, so we need more money. We spend quite a bit. Oh, we still have quite a bit of money. We make a lot of money too. I love it. Fifteen, not bad. So after that one, we're gonna be lying for uh, more uh, trade notes. Ooh. Very, very nice. <clears throat> uh, Mascaro Musings, or Bitter Truth? Let's go Mascaro Musings. Well, the Mascaro lived in the land for thousands of years, seeing empires rise and fall. Perhaps we should hear some of what they have to say. 
Why not? So 48,000. That is going to jump up maybe a little bit more, shall it? 49, not bad. Ooh, yes. Good build, build, build. Restore our Pueblo Chemical Depot. Yes, please. Anything else around here? Group country management. A little more stability for political power. I'm okay with that. Ooh, I'm going to yes. We need radios, definitely. And more empty tank. Good. Yeah, we have a couple planes here as well. Good. More planes. Oh. Uh, oh, we didn't get the other one, huh? We need to go to spoils. And now we go where there's a whip, there's a way. Oh boy. You know what? We're going to go on to it anyways. Rescue team. It's nice. Let's in here. Yeah. No. I want them to convert them to Triori Eye. That's good. Can I convert one of you to Triori Eye? That'd be nice, but not quite. Good. And then learning from the Denver robots. <clears throat> Within the hollow halls of Denver sits a particular little factory managed by a strange robot of days gone. It is willing to give us information on the old world if we spare its life. So we are Lanius's horde. The real pack is looking relatively strong. Let's see, our troll warrant's looking pretty big and thick, too. So after that, I still want to go to as much war as possible. <coughs> In an offensive war. A land of champions. Ooh, yes. While well, Colorado's shoot about the mountains of the mother, the plains roll into Texas. When we plant the banner of the bull in the sea, the world will know who rules the wasteland. I like it. Um, and then what? Lone Star, Texan Brotherhood, they're out east. And the Lubbock. Good. And we'll get that fifth research slot soon enough, but I'd rather go this direction. Oh, God. Oh, no, we'd take all these? Oh, no. Well, then, fine. A better truth. All of Lannis' tribe is gone, as if it never was. The only memory of the hide barks is whatever Lannis can make for themselves. But perhaps there's still something to remember from their old lessons. Well, at least we've got a fourth research slot. Can we actually do this one, too? We can, so that's why I didn't want to invest too much heavily in here. We're actually going to go this way. So that's good. Good. Great. More money. We don't see a huge difference, but that's okay. You know what? To catch up, we'll spend her some political power. Why not? Uh, force assimilation. You know what? I'd rather wait. So level seven's not bad. 400 some odd. The better truth is good. Travel nation. Scribes of our own. Brotherhood exiles. Follower dropouts. Scavengers from Dog City. They all know too much. They all know much wisdom from the old books. If you know where to look for, let's use our riches to direct them to help us. Cult of Personality, oh, what's this one? The Magnemonious Warlord. They call me brutal, but I've inspired men to fight and die for me across the East. Think of me not as a conqueror, but as your savior. But true. Rome with Diana, we're still going to gear up to have a big old war with them. Conquer. Bagas. Uh, claim Jumpers, maybe? No. Super Junction. Painted Rock. How long would that take? That's uh, quite a few days. Oh, best to wait. Nice. Magnemonious world. Ah. I love it. Are we still part of a research group with the Legion? That'd be kind of interesting. So we'll head to time. Actually, can we go over here? No, we can't. That's going to be kind of limiting for us. Will it be? Oh, God. Right through purpose. Well, I'll save this one for last. We still want to improve Dark City as much as possible. As Kaiser has done in the West, so too shall we do in the East. For how can you slay that which is immortal? Suffer today. For the hope of a better tomorrow. Good. So, Doc City, we should really be pumping Doc City up. Get out of my office. Good. Portable radios, nice. 
Image equipment is at 1500, that's not bad. Some attack, sure, why not? Help settlements out, yes. Good. Curse through Warlord, or Curse through Hardship. Yeah. Far too many Wastelanders lack the courage to fight in battle. We can always find uses for them, and in this way, they find some small honor. Yeah, we can do this one too, why not? Keep building our legion up. How many infantry divisions are we making at a time? Well, any more than that. Uh, equities, I mean, they're great and all, but really, if you replace them with motorized, is there any difference, really? Actually, yeah, you actually get a few more buffs, a few more debuffs, though. A little more defense, a little worse than everything else. Interesting. Hmm. Anything for True Ori? Uh, I, I wouldn't mind some more demo teams on them. That actually would be useful. Also, we want, I want dogs. Since they're kind of unique for us, as much as I like recon, dogs, we get bonuses to dogs, and they may not be fantastic, but they give you a little bit of recon. They give you a little bit of everything here. We run with the dogs. We put dogs in our chariots. God, I love the hounds. Money's power. And eventually. Call to personality. Defenses are online. The officer deserves a raise. Bring up more supplies and keep up the sweep. Fantastic. Good. So for today, I guess money's power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think we got anything else here. Let's do it this way. Better any tank. That's always worth getting, just in case. You never know. Um, some air bases here too. Of course, I want to maximize Dock City as fast as possible as well. So that's not bad over here. What do you want to get over here? Infantry. How, how is our infantry abilities? We have so much manpower. We're not thick enough yet. We gotta go over here first. And money's power. Securing the trade routes of the east will encourage traders to come to our new land and in turn fill our coffers. Hey, let's get something from us good. Staff Warband's looking pretty good, too. How is Doxy doing? Level 4? Well, I don't want to do it now because. But it's only level 4, even if you wait and do it to get to level 5, it's not a big difference. More compliance is nice. Concluding, concluding. I think in the base game, these are opposite, so you have to choose Colorado or Texas. That's why I wanted the sub mod. Um, I should do both. We might go to Colorado first, maybe. Wait, what? Crapper's Compact. That's not in Colorado, though. And the shades of Yucas, they said the Mascaro could never be conquered. And the bunkers of Maxim, they said the brother could never be humbled. And the realm of forest and snow, they said the hangdog could never be tamed. Now, they say nothing. Get more compliance, huh? Use a lot of political power for compliance. It's not bad. It's alright. Good. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Sure, why now? Get some training appointments for Store Fort Bliss. Oh, absolutely. Scavenge with vehicles, because we can. Uh, how much money do we have? 425. Keep making more money. Level 4 is not terrible. Oh, good. Colluding the. Colorado campaign. Yeah, the riches of the scrappers. The Legion needs more. More slaves, more food, more metal. We must go forth and take what we need from Oklahoma. Chain choir. Scrappers compact. I painted rock. Well, as long as Legion doesn't want to kill us yet. She 
should be okay. Colluding the campaign. Lanius stormed into his war room, hastily setting up inside a tent in the middle of a makeshift camp on the northern outskirts of Duck City. His journalist quickly stood another feet in near perfect unison, salutes booming throughout the room. The legate slammed his blade into the earth, fixing it in place as a couple of aides sheepishly began going through reports of pacification efforts throughout the region. Lanius could only allow his mind to wander about his t next steps for a second before a hulking figure emerged from the corners of the tent. Ave, legate. Bull Leader, the leader of New Sterling's mercenaries, made his way forward, his armor clanging with one, every one of his slender steps. I relieve you of my presence soon, Legate. My men have been informed of your intentions to lodge your expanse all the way up against the banks of the tributaries. A uh, sound strategy, to be sure. The warrior glanced up to Lannis before rapidly diverting his gaze down to the round table. I've taken the liberty of having scout movements across the troubled territories to the west and in Oklahoma charted for your legions. The commander chiefs were happy to oblige. And with that, the mercenary leader quickly made for the tent's exit, careful not to make eye contact with the stoic legate. Lannis quickly ruffled through the papers before instructing his generals to share the information with only the most veteran legionnaires. That should be enough to ensure the survivors of the campaign will be sufficiently weathered to take on Kansas's Comanche. When the day finally comes, cowardice will merely buy them time. Oh, look at that. Tons of compliance. I mean, don't get me wrong, we already have tons of compliance. Look at, look at that. You know, it's not bad. Great. Right. Well, just maximize it. Our men, we're literally immortal here. Until we get attacked, of course. But we don't talk about that. Right. 221 caps, or denaris, denari? What is it? What are we using here? Of course, we're on conscripted principes. Principes. I guess we could do a, a Subitus Lege series. Trouble yourself not with a source of sudden supply reef, relief. The saves have already done their fair share for you. Cool. Oh. Did I actually click enter on that? Oh, whoops, my bad. I didn't realize that. Oh, you know what? We can do this. Um. But we'd be in fits of war, so it's got to last a little bit of time here. Mm, nah, we're good. So after that one, to take Texas. While Colorado shoot about the mountains of the mother, the plains roll into Texas. When we plant the band of the bull in the sea, the world will know who rules the wasteland. So, uh, the conquest of Eastern California. The baggage reflect the greed of California, of course. Uh, prospectors who strip their own land of all the worth. They descend on Colorado like locusts. Let them be slaves to us instead of gold. To take the rivers and mountains. These ghouls speak in the same tongues as the Shi of the West. They preach that all men are equal under heaven. Perhaps it's time uh, for them to learn that they are equal under Lanius. Yeah, well, Legion's moving in. And we're done with that, please. There you go. Have fun with it. Cultural advisor, Z files, infrastructure. Subservient. Mm, let's see. Executive orders. Interesting. Chief Executive McKinley, arms organizer, shackle mechanic, reconstructor, petty criminal conscripts. So you lose recruitment population factor and stability. Get more war support and attack. You lose resistance to target. You lose. Recruit a population factor and get more organization. We definitely need to do both of these two. Uh, I'm sure we'll go with that one because why not? I'm not super worried about this. Chickasaw. Huh? Let them do what they must. I believe we'll be fine. We lost 45 versus 700. Beautiful. Oh, we get a banner up with territories too, huh? I kind of they reject us because I want more war. Are we missing something here? Oh, radios. Oh, well, that makes sense. Oh, 
Lost Patrol Seated Territory. Very smart. Very smart. A bit boring, don't get me wrong, but very smart. The dogs for territories. Really don't want to give anything to Iron Alliance, but we may have to. Probably throw fire bases on them, anyways. It's fine. How many are we out? A lot of radios. I bet you them are so good, though. Good. I'm not concerned. This one. Completed melting the yard. I want to do this one then. Scrappers Compact. Oh, we got to do that one too. Okay. We'll take Texas next then. Or the Indian over northern Mexico. It's not the first time that a legate has sought to erect the red banner across the Rio Grande. We'll make sure it'll be the last time though. Good. I already read these, so I'll do this one, why not? Army XP is good. We don't take too much of a war score uh, penalty, which is good. Hello. Uh, approach loyalty, okay. Interesting. Uh, be a life giver. Red Okies. Go ahead. See what you can do. They're not a puppet of us, are they? No. Could kick him from our faction and eat him up and gobble him up later, but let's wait for that. Land of Champions. What? They don't start attacking us? What's wrong with them? Fine, we'll do it for them. Look at that. So, because we need to be able to take these guys out. There you go. Special forces should be fine. Well, three divisions should be fine. Is it online? Even a god may die. Oh, Kazu has ascended to the heavens to join Mars. The Legion will hold a funeral for a week, with games and offerings to the god who saved the wasteland. But the Legion's elite come not to praise Kaiser, but to bury him, for they watch each other with poison in their wine cups and daggers at their backs, who will lead the Legion now. Interesting. Oh, I guess we had the chance to lower Kaiser's stress levels. Too bad.
Well, would you look at that? The bowl has been broken. Kazu's walls make truth through me. Kazu's death shows that we all knew along that even a god can die. Now, his followers, back west, fight for the scraps, and we must decide what to do. We could help any of them, even save Vulpus, whose treachery is no way to rule, but perhaps we should let them fight amongst each other? The Legion needs strength, and we can make the grave mistake of putting a weak ruler in place if we intervene. Let them prove their strength. Cool. Sons of Vulcan. And a Praetorian Lucius. Aurelius' Legion. Backroom backstabber. Fantastic. Malpius cohort. Oh, wait. Huh. Uh, yeah. okay. And of course, this. Back and back to ever again. They're all back and back to Atlantic champions. As Linus ready his gear to the Fort Summer's armory, he experienced a sensation he not felt in years. Excitement. There are stories from the wasteland or wandering caravan traders of New Mexico of armored mutants battling over scraps of land flanked by steel paladins wielding. Uh, outlandish laser carbines, and of old gunslingers he witnessed in holotips from the old world later disposed of. In the years that followed the start of this expedition, Texas had grown even more formidable, largely unified under a single banner, the nature of which he was frustratingly unable to obtain the scouts. Could it be? His very own bear to slay, an opponent of such magnitude whose inevitable defeat Mars would reward him for in this life and beyond. It was an opportunity he could not pass up that night. The legate had a pyre erected on the outskirts of Lubbock's Western Apollos, fueled by the bodies of the foolish explorers and mercenaries who dared venture beyond the protection of the town militias. This will strike fear among the cajoled masses ahead of the grand battle, yes, but above all, a tribute to Mars, that he may bless us with good fortune as we cleanse the east in holy fire, and he will, his will will be made. Ooh. Through the systematic crucifixion, a crucifixion of a position in occupied territories, we uh, can eliminate the threat they pose to a rule and bring him under our thumb. It may be bloody, but Kaiser wills it. Lannis wills it. Receive Corwin cost and Texan states by 30%. Oh, that's awesome. Ah, new weapons. Don't mind if we do. Strike even more. We don't need this weekly map, but we need to get through it anyways. Whatever. Days we have. Uh, two. One and a half more months. Oh, well, let's regard. The she ghouls are glad to serve us with proper encouragement. Perhaps under our banner they'll find the liberation they seek. Sworn to carry our burdens. Kazo taught me well. A slave is a tool who thinks. The survivors of the NCR's scavenging expedition are just one more tool for the Legion. How grateful must these wretches be to devote their life to Kaiser's whims and at their own? Or like, like it. Lanius's. Replace the Eastern Legion with the Masters of the East. Less recruitable population factor. Better supply consumption. Better captain income. Walking infantry unit speed is better. Infantry equipment production, even better too. Oh, Lubbock's former core territory. Well, that's alright. Cool. Ah, it's this one. Those who lack uh, the will to fight for the Legion still have their uses. Some of them may even survive. Maybe. Throw the Aurora Armory. Oh, you betcha. Go ahead. Boom, boom. And we're out of money again. Go figure. Uh, don't we get any folks for that? I just create it anyway. It's fine. Whatever. Inspiration. Let's do Animal Friend. Something unique. Something a little different. Let's see. Nothing there. I guess we could save up 100 more army XP to get another level next for them, too. That probably would be good. Pioneer Kit. 
Support equipment. And better dogs. Yay. So who doesn't love the dogs? Animal hitters, that's who. They're not attacking us? What's wrong with them? Alright, let's go in. Have fun. We're just missing a bunch of radios, I know. But still. Lessons from a sister. Looking pretty good. Bulbas is, of course, doing quite well themselves. And then what? They're out east. Lubbock is divided between ghouls and humans. A legacy of an old conflict, fear not. Lannis will come and free you from your petty squabbles. Uh, can we demand territory? No. All right. with the infantry moving in this fast. Equal rights. Great cause. There's never allowed women to serve as warriors, restricting the role to healers, midwives, and scribes, but in this conquest of the East, Lannis has conquered many a warrior women. Lawson of the Mascaro, Morrison of the Summer, and Brixley of the Brotherhood. They fight at least as well as the tribes of Arizona, and there's no shame in falling to the Legion. Perhaps wonders, Lannis, can he use women for other roles? As scouts? Spies, maybe? Who do not pass word of Lannis' doings to Vulpus? As on of scribes, to fight with words instead of weapons? Kaizo never condone this. Lanny should have his mistrust. I think so, yeah. Women can be a good tool, just like men. Besides, look at what happened to Kaizo off. Beautiful. And now we can do melting the yard. Every bumper is a sword, every chest is a tank. And so we grow and grow, bringing your peace to the wasteland. Why not? Don't you? Gunsmithing. Twice in two lifetimes, interesting. Melting the yard, good. That would open up more opportunities for us, too. Well, there is a provisional Republic of Texas here we will have to deal with. I'm just not sure who we're going to fight next. Gateway to the Plains? Sure, why not? Sequoia is the outpost of a vast Midwestern realm, where an ancient battlefield rests. Let us take the springboard so that our strength may one day wash over the east. We'll have to deal with them later. Uh, let's see, you're the fattest part of the army here. That'll be nice. You take that position. Happy May. Ah, I can come up here too, why not? Fall Flagstaff. I'd be surprised. Uh, well, not really surprised at all. Melting the yard. Good, just in case. Oh, we can do this one too. Less caps income, but better with caps expenses. Eh, sure, why not? Screw it. We'll do it eventually, anyways. Well, why not? Hmm. 
You know what? Sure, why not? Demand arrival territories. Oh, whoops. I'm gonna click on Invest Demons in Dock City. Whoopsie. Oh, there's the ultimatum. Very good. Doxy's growth. Very nice. Castrostal Rubrum. Good. Oh, I caught him in my... Oops. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Just go in. Fast. Oh, God. Very nice. Just pour over the border. 31, 4,000. Holy cow. That's a lot. Fences are online. USA. USA FA solar plant, nice. Ah, oh, what did you learn? Well, that's still not bad too. There's quite a few of these guys though. It's pretty thick pickings here. Of course, we need more radios. Oh, is need more radios? The day the bull was tamed, Lanius waved away the mascaro, scout before storming back to its quarters, absorbed in deep thought. The land of Titans, that which broke Legate Paulus so long ago, is not concerned with the logistics of the campaign. The men have faced much worse opposition, no. Morale is what worried him, amongst the most veteran legionaries especially. Stories of Paulus' defeat had traveled fast, and he could sense that unease within the camp even in spite of recent successes. That would not do. That night, Lanius rounded the men in front of his tent, before ordering two slaves to roll out a wooden cart from within. On it were several sacks filled to the brim with denarius, thousands in each in the very least. Without wasting time, he boomed out. The first word to bring me the head of each village and town chief south of the Pecos would be a reward of the bag. Five for each of their champions. A crew tactic, something he loathed having to put stoop to, but it seemed to have done the trick. The men let out an enthusiastic roar, with many rushing off to the training grounds and arenas to spar with one another. How soon fear subsides when overtaken by ambition. Better a loss in treasure than one in battle. Yeah. Good. Uh, what are we missing here? Sport equipment? Did I replace it with something else? Oh my god, I did. Pioneer kits. Pioneer kits. What the heck am I doing? Mr. Mucklover. There we go. My bad. That's my fault. Well, we really are struggling now, aren't we? But, even though we're struggling, we get more of that, too. Big spin. Let's capitulate one group here. How about this? Let's rethink this real quick. You're going to take command here. And you'll do this. I want you separated, though. We need another general, so be it. Or maybe not. We'll see. I want the rest of you guys here. Spread out. Or we could have just left you here, but whatever. Guards good. Uh, we're in offensive war. How about Subitus Liege Cupido? 
Allowing reserves of a uh, visit family once a month may be con incongruent with our governing approach. Nevertheless, a warrior who knows what he's fighting for is an invaluable asset. Let them attack us, why not? Why are you attacking me? Hold back a little bit. We have a better factory output. Uh huh. Oh no, you're saying they're actually trying to spread out through here? Oh no. And what do we got here? We think their focus is. Well, bonuses here. It's alright if we don't. How much manpower do they have? None. 75,000. Structure speed would be good. Oh, that's good. Well, gateway to the south, unfortunately for the Pecos ranchers, the lands present an ideal staging ground to strike at the heart of Mexico. Yeah, we're really limited by technology, which really is not good for us. Wow, we can't even win here? Holy cow, this is pretty bad. This is actually very alarming. You know what, I'm going to send half you here. Exceptionally alarming. How many minutes lost? 2,000? Hmm. Did we get cut off almost? Yeah. Wow. Alright, so we have to have a new general. Let's do this first. Let's go to the local leader for this one. With them spreading themselves like this, we should be able to do okay. You two are out to also attack. So disrupt their supply lines. And now you're surrounded too. God dang it. Are you kidding me? Bro. Get in there. Gateway to the south. Yeah, we're struggling a little bit here. Uh, we're going to go to this one. Closing the chapter. Let's see if they have any worth. Get in. Go. This is honestly a bit ridiculous. If you take Oklahoma City, you're going to get rid of a lot of their divisions here. Of course, we still have Iron Alliance, which is good. We didn't get rid of them just yet, but still. Better recovery rate's good. And boom. Let's keep plowing through them if we can. Save our divisions. Ooh, did we lose one here? Yeah, I might go back to the drawing board for this one, perhaps. We'll see. Yeah, no, we, we this is definitely showing our limitations here. Without an increase in technology, we are definitely getting sunk.
Counting down. So this is the home of the Brotherhood, asked Lanius. A hole in the ground where they can hide from an honorable combat. Lanius, walk forward, Paladin Andrium. I know you can hear me and I know you think you can outlast us. And perhaps in another time you might be right. Lanius's mask remained motionless as he continued. We found the tubes that bring air into your bunker, too small for any of us perhaps, but even as we speak, a gas is seeping into your bunker. Can your sons and daughters survive that, or will you end your days with the corpses of your children, waiting for your sister to grow old, cold, and take you two? Make your choice. I'll find new lives in the Legion. Oh, we aren't stopping the gas. Hmm. Advanced special forces kits, huh? Advanced kits would be nice. You know, we're going to go with that. That sounds pretty good to me. So. Oh, whoops, my bad. Oh, what else we got here? Lumber mills. Oh, how does it may seem? The forests in northern Mexico are exploited for lumber. The flogs, or the flogs, logs floated down the Rio Grande. Let us use their slaves to promote their exploitation. I think this one's the last time, too, so. Open the coal mines. The coal mines in New Mexico have sat on use since the Great War. Uh, but the Legion is a manpower to make use of them. Guns of fate. To take a life is one of the strongest actions at one's disposal. It mustn't be done lightly without knowledge, or without knowing of the consequences that victory brings. Well, we finally finished them off. It took forever. We did take the territory away from the last patrol, which is pretty nice. But now the Highland Watch has demanded territory from us. But unfortunately, they're in a faction with the Midnight Union. So we're going to be in Canada by the time we're done here. Um, we're going to do our best to go in. We'll see what happens. We got Bird of Bird schematics? Really? Really? I'm not going to complain. That's pretty awesome, actually. Um, so, yeah. We're going in. We'll see what happens. No guarantees for anything, but uh, we're going to do our best. Uh, let's see if we can do it without them for now. Because right now, Lone Tree, they're fighting Lone Tree. 12,000 casualties is quite a bit. They got a lot of divisions themselves. This is going to be a long, long war. Um, see how much they can exhaust them, how much we can exhaust ourselves. Uh, we did lose that one division. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what we can actually accomplish here or not. Because if not, we'll do the best we possibly can. Which will probably get us into the next episode because this is going to last quite a while for us fighting these guys. Um, we're doing the cataphracts. It seems the old witch gave the Cherokee one last gift. Horses. Like so many before them, they will be broken to Legion's well, and with my luck, my spoils will guard Kaiser and his triumph in Shady Sands. And free. Oh, look at that. And the Audacious. Okay, sure, why not? I've got more we can do up here. Our own Centurions. We can begin recruiting Centurions from our own Legionnaires. This shows that we are no longer an unruly breakaway from Flagstaff, but a true successor to the Legion. The Butcher's Peace. Although some question the uh, Lannis' methods, none can deny the lands under his rule have become more peaceful, gone to the raiders and any threat to trade. For the Legion, a world of fear is better than a world of pain. Drugs are a little prolific it. Oh, hello, what the heck? Hello? Um, give me a second here. I can't control things, or what's going on here? Um, seems every base bit of the Wasteland has its own vice, and the people of Colorado are addicted to Smooch. Smooch combines an extreme mellowness beyond the point of apathy with intense ecstasy, and as ravaged prolific gets the land, once we begin crucifying any dealers, the situation will improve. And by from entire east, although Volpus's methods are without honor, they do serve their purposes sometimes. Are we actually losing up here? How is that possible? Do we need more supply or something? Wow. That's got free, that's good. Mother of invention. Though Kaiser rejected reliance on technology, the East must make concessions given life on the frontier. Very intense. Auto injectors, that's why we use them. Scavenging efforts. Uh, sure. Motorization doesn't really help us that much, but whatever. Why not? Wow. Oh, we can't pierce them. That doesn't help. You know what? Lose that tile then. Wow. 
Lanius is incredibly weak. Yeah, maybe we should have gone with Diana. Yeah. Not bad. Hmm, interesting. We've got a lot of air speed too. That's something I didn't really notice too. Um, let's go with the center one, perhaps. Sure. A couple more though. Call and I. Lanius will settle elder legionnaires along the banks of the Rio Grande and ensure the land stays loyal and they'll gladly support its expansion in turn, feeding the cohort. With the resources of New Mexico under Lanius's control, he can divert slaves to rebuilding the old dams and aquifers that once allowed the limited farming in the land. The Classis Orientalis. Lanius will need to support his fleet or as much of a fleet as the Rio Grande can hold. Why not do so here? The open palm. Those who submit to the legion shall live. Some of them may even come and appreciate what we do for them. Scavenger solar plants. Nature hardness the power of the sun, but the legion does not need to challenge the gods, yet. Let us tear apart the old plants and turn it to even better use. Disperse a tribe. The twin mothers will never serve us after we've broken the connection between them and their goddess. The best we can do is disperse them across the legions of slave or slaves. I'm sure they can never rise again as unified people. The twin mothers final lesson. Put your faith in your own blood rather than holding a faith that someone will fight your battles for you. Good. Where there's a whip, there's a way. The weak often need the right encouragement to do as they are needed. So I think it might end there. Um, we're in a little bit of a struggle right now, but we'll see what happens, you know. I can't believe how weak we are, especially going after conventional warfare, but then again, our technology is not superb, so. It is what it is, but it'll help once we get some anti-tank in there, too, so. If you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, as we are going to continue trying to play as good old Lanius. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.